Hello, it is Wednesday morning-ish, quite late. So, if you watched the last vlog to the end, you will know that I was awoken at 6.17am by the NHS app thingy. It texted me and said that I have got a negative result. Yippee! All that first for nothing. Sorry, guys. Uh, what am I like? But I'm still ill, though. Anyway, I was almost going to get up at 620 I just felt so ill so I went back to bed and I've only just got up now and it's quite late admittedly I'm going to go and work on the vlog for tonight and add the snippet that I just filmed at the end to update people at the end of it and then get on with my day it's ages later now I've edited the video and I was about to hit export and I thought I'm not happy with it <laughs> so I'm going to get dressed now I'm still in the pyjamas I'm going to get dressed tidy up the table downstairs and I'm going to re-establish my workspace down there because I've been up here just keeping away from Izzy a bit while I wasn't sure if I had the virus or not but I'm sure I haven't now so yes I'm going to go and sort that out there is a child missing college still down here a, because the message came in, it was just too late to organise things, wasn't it, Is, mm -hmm. And also, she's got whatever I had. Sore throat, swollen glands. Any other symptoms? Oh, you said you ached all over slightly, didn't you? Yeah. She doesn't want to be on camera. It's because she's in her pyjamas. It's because I feel bad. Aww. Anyway, I'm going to clear this table off and get to work. Might need to tidy up the child. Speaking of workspaces, I've decided the time has finally come. I've been in this house like a year and many months now and I've always intended to buy myself a desk for my bedroom so I can work up there if I want to. And I'm going to do it. I've seen one on Amazon that I like and I'm going to order it later. I'm terrible for getting distracted. I was halfway through doing the table and I decided to make coffee and then I decided to get dressed before I went any further and then I was halfway through brushing my hair and I decided to order that thing on Amazon for the bedroom because I just want to get that process started. I want this one. It's not the cheapest, but it'll presumably last me a lifetime, I hope. Right, I'm just gonna make sure it fits. I want to put it where that is and shift that over there and just put that one somewhere else. That could go anywhere. It's just a, it was a toy chest, but it's got um, linen and things in it at the moment. I've got a spare single mattress here. It's quite a good one because in the old place I didn't have a bed so I just had a mattress on the floor and because I just had a mattress on the floor I thought well why not extend it with an extra single mattress. So I literally had a triple bed. It was awesome. Really good. Anyway I ended up with a spare single mattress but it's it was the best mattress that I had and when Izzy has sleepovers obviously it's very handy to just haul it into her bedroom and put it on the floor and somebody can sleep on it but in the meantime it's there I did originally have it wedged under there but it just kept on mucking the bed up it was lifting planks and slats and things and causing the bed to like cave in so I've given up with that now Izzy's mattress came with her original bed I think it's uh, it's quite an old one could do with replacing so I was going to get her to lie down on the other mattress and see if she prefers it and if she prefers it swap it and get rid of the old one and then I'll have that space then in the corner so I could slide the the linen chest and suitcases and things into it 110 centimeters currently oh wow oh <laughs> it's bigger than that oh right okay that's quite big I mean that's brilliant I'd like a nice big one that's another 80 that'd be 190 ah mm, okay might have to rethink that no it will be okay i've just measured it again i forgot that i needed to measure it from here and i was actually just measuring it from there so no it'll be fine it'll just about fit yeah i'm gonna just get on and order that now and then i'll go back i bet my coffee's going cold now and i still haven't brushed my hair look at the state of it <laughs> my hair is incredibly knotty today it's just oh my goodness i'm gonna be here for a while <laughs> Trying not to rip it. I've sort of sorted my workspace out and I've ordered that desk from Amazon. I'm really excited about it. I don't know why, but I, I just really am. I like working in my room. I don't know why. I must admit, after my several days that I've just had mostly in bed, I'm feeling extremely fresh starty right now after having such a nice big long rest, which has been very good psychologically probably as well as physically. My appetite is being a little bit wetted for academia, but probably not to any like great brainy extent because I'm not very 
brainy, but <laughs> um, mm, I'm quite interested in getting back into Portuguese. And I've really, I've just, I've been thinking about it for months ever since Izzy dropped the biology. I've paid for those courses, the online courses for biology and human biology, and I'm quite tempted to just do the whole of the human biology course myself for fun and take loads of notes and even possibly sit an exam. Obviously not next year. I'm sure you've heard the news by now. The GCSEs and A-levels here in Wales are cancelled next year. So grades are going to be got from classroom assessment. And I'm not sure where that leaves the current home educators who are currently year 11. Obviously that's going to have to be looked into. Izzy's lucky that she made it to college really because it kind of simplifies things for us this year. It's now half past four in the afternoon and it is dark out and I've just got tonight's vlog up. I don't think I've ever cut it that fine uh, but anyway for some reason it just took me a long time. Neither of us has had lunch yet. She says she's definitely not hungry and she's having a bath just about to get in so I'm just going to cook anyway and leave it for her to serve up whenever she feels hungry. I'm gonna cook tortellini and tomatoes and a variety of other veg like peppers, mushrooms and whatever else I can find in my fridge that needs eating. I have cooked, I've done tortellini with a sort of tomato based jollop. Here's the rest of it here. Izzy says she's not hungry, she's just got out of the bath. I am also not hungry, but all I've eaten today is five corn cakes, a small banana and four almonds and it's getting on for half past five and all Izzy's eaten today is one yogurt and that's it, so. <sighs> and she's still feeling unwell. Um, today is a bit of a non-event in our lives. I'm going a bit of cheese to go on mine. That's enough. A bit too much actually, but anyway, I've done it now. Oh no, that's all right actually, once you spread it around a bit. It's quarter to eight in the evening and look what's come! My Amazon package. Can you remember what's in there? I can. Let's have a look then. I tell you what, I'm so in the mood to just have a massive shopping day in Cardiff. That's what I want to do right now. I just want to get the train down to Cardiff and spend all day shopping for Christmas presents. That's my idea of heaven right now. I'm not sure if I'm really supposed to do that, but um, I might think about it. I had a feeling half of this package was going to be packaging. Oh, my pants! I forgot about those. Oh, I love it when there's something you forget. Oh, they, oh yes, they look massive. Size large, I put medium in the thing. Okay, well, they usually shrink, so that's probably okay. I mean, I'm probably not a large per se, but anyway, well, whatever. Ooh, look, look, look. <laughs> that is genuine excitement. Oh, you can tell nothing happens much at the moment, can't you? I get this excited about a coffee grinder. Oh, it's, oh, it's got one touch button. Operation, anti-wear stainless steel blades. Ooh. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, okay, I need two hands for that. with a little brushy thingy. Perhaps it's for like sweeping up all the coffee that I will inevitably spill. No, I'm joking. I'm sure it's not for that. Oh, so shiny, smooth and new. I'll go and put it in the kitchen for now and we'll try that out tomorrow morning when it's coffee o'clock. Yeah. Next, the pants. Oh yes. Um, for the benefit of the Americans, Pants is basically underpants here. <laughs> They're massive. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> oh no, they're not too bad. Hang on. <laughs> um, a bit big, but you know, I bet they're very, very, very cosy. <laughs> Apologies to IB in advance. He's cringing watching this. He'll be cringing watching this right now, I can assure you. <laughs> I'm not going to try them on right now. But if you've enjoyed watching this video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button down there. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!